What is going on guys? Wiser here and I'm coming to do the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was our weekend arranged against WHF and ugh, this was a tough one. WHF brought their A game. We did not bring our A game and was a very poor outcome on our side. 85-79 for WHF. Well done over there. Really nice war. You guys definitely uh, just curb stomped us this war. But you know some silver linings within the curb stomping. Um, uh, so had some had some nice attacks. I did have a 10 versus 10 here to show you, even though a few bullies were needed. Um, just overall, it was just kind of a sloppy war for us. But uh, we pick up and move on. Top on down here. We're going to jump right into some replays and start with well, I have 20. What do I want to show there? It's written down. Oh, there it is. 26. <clears throat> Try Tosh going in. Bring good old shattered uh, Govaho here. Nice old school tax. It's going to get the baby drag down, get a mini down on the other side, get that funnel going. It's going to work right into this queen chamber, jump right on over. Kind of just sees the linear aspect of this base where, um, although there's a lot to funnel um, on the outside here, look at the baby drag. But it hasn't been touched yet, right? You got th its third building now. It's going to start working on its fourth. Finally, in goes the first golem. Just going to go uh, right in, right at the queen chamber, like I said. Poison down that queen, helping things out. <clears throat> what is that? So there was two golems, right? Am I silly? Was it a cold-blooded? There's only one golem. It was Valks in the CC. I swear when I watched this, I had made literally made note that it was two golems for some reason. But, oh well. <laughs> Apparently I'm wrong. Good old CV entry, I should say. Uh, so Valks in the CC getting uh, good work done on the Rage and the Heal spell there. Moving in, moving on down. King finally hits that ability. Queen's going to step up, start taking care of that core. Still has Valks kind of sprinkled all over the base. Uh, the troops do do this weird little split in this long compartment there. So it's a, sort of unfortunate, but it works out nicely, actually. Sends in a couple hogs, kind of help up that king. Two there, and then two more moving in. They're going to end up getting these defenses, sort of maybe three or four there. Does lose uh, a few to a bomb there, but nothing too uh, tragic, right? they got a lot of low health hogs, but uh, Troll Tesla up in the corner. Does not stand a chance for all these hogs moving in at it. Definitely going to be a tree in the bag. Tesla does a little bit of work to those low hit point hawks, but it does really in the end absolutely not matter. <clears throat> Cleanup's kind of working in on that pincer action like I talk about all the time. Getting clean up on both sides of the base, and it's tree in the bag for Tritosh. Good job, buddy. Whoops. Sorry, kitty. Kitty made me smell my beer. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, moving on. Number 25, good old Chad. I think Chad and Tritosh both had six packs this war. Um, but look at Chad here. Let's just bring a Zapquake and quad Lalo this. Um, so a loon goes in, right? You're going to just kind of protect the hogs for a second and let the hogs move in a lot quicker. Does get the clan castle lured out just in time, right? Two Valks, a baby dragon, and the wizard. So drops a few giants. His king, poison goes down nice and early over the queen and the CC troops. Gets another two for one, uh, even maybe I think two for two trade here on the defenses. And boom, look at that. Defensive queen is about to go down. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He's got it. He ends up having to use the ability here to finish off the queen, but uh, this queen's left all by her lonesome. All that tanking stuff couldn't get through the wall with the wall break fail there, but hits that ability. Down goes the defensive queen. Everything is now taken care of. We can go ahead and start sending in these Lava Hounds. One from 2 o'clock, one from 3 o'clock. A few loons backing them up. Haste goes down. Just going to throw the loons right in on top of the Wiz Tower, right on top of this Tesla farm. <clears throat> Getting pretty good value out of basically five balloons and a couple Lava Hounds so far. One did pop, so it sends in another Lava Hound on this next air defense. Starts the balloons coming in from four and five o'clock now they're going to work right in on towards that kind of everything now moving moving into the core of this base just slowly slowly deploying the stuff in goes that max lava hound from the cc that's going to get crazy work done eats a mind to the face a couple minds to the face and a ton of shots and still is doing some tanking finally it bursts you do really 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 want that max lava hound to burst guys if you're bringing a hound here Always want to make sure it bursts. Still has one left up, and all the air defenses are down. There's a couple Teslas over here that uh, pose a bit of an issue, but nothing that this <laughs> huge pack of balloons can't handle. That lab, last half Lava Hound now bursts. Really, there's... I mean, you look at this, it's a little bit scary. It might have been nice to save a couple uh, back-end balloons for this Wiz Tower, because as they're moving into this Tesla, the Wiz Tower starts taking shots, and uh, you're like, oh, no, here it is. 
here it is it's just not quite enough to stop like there's just so many of them boom down goes the whiz tower pops all over the base doing cleanup beautiful tree in the bag for chad Fowler. beauty a little quad lalo uh all right jamie <laughs> 11 Valks, um, cold-blooded entry here, another cold-blooded Goho here, Goboho, I should say. Um, gets the minion down, triggers the, uh, triggers the uh, bomb, so unfortunately doesn't get the free building over there, but it doesn't really matter because it sends in the cold-blooded golem. Wizards are nice and free to do whatever they want on the outsides there, so down go all these buildings. Going to go ahead in with 11 Valkyries here right over top this jump spell. Doesn't even bring Wall Breakers 11. Everything gets sucked right into this high-value Tesla chamber. Heal spell goes down. Poison spell goes down. Going to take care of those CC troops. A couple of Valkyrie, Valkyries coming out. It's kind of scary, but because the heal spell is down there and the poisons are early... Um, her Valks are just fine. So the Valkyrie is going to move in, take care of that defensive queen. Down she goes in just a matter of like two seconds. Starts to sprinkle hogs in now at the queen chamber now that she's dead. <clears throat> Basically like a three finger drop there coming in from the north. Has the golem in there still doing tanking on that expo. A bunch of Valks moving in. A few Valks split off with the king there to help some wizards do some cleanup on the outside. <clears throat> Queen's doing her own little cleanup down coming around the six o'clock location there. I'm not even zoomed all the way out. Sorry guys. Um, you know, she's going to be absolutely fine. It's going to clean up this whole area. And look at this. A bazillion hogs in here. Holy, just so many hogs left over at this point. Except, look at this. Uh-oh. So, Jamie didn't have this stellar cleanup. It would have been trouble because bacon <laughs> for that. But look at this wizard over there. This hero wizard working on this wall. He's like, why was he he was working on he's been working to get to this uh sweeper for so long now he's like i just need to get to the sweeper and he does and it's absolutely perfect steps on up down goes that sweeper because that would have been a problem right if that wizard was dead i'm sure time would have been a serious issue um so hero wizard over there taking out the sweeper leaves jamie with a tree in the bag Good job girl oh my kitty approves as well um what is next what was that 24 let's jump down to 22 king of the north met this guy uh, chicago live really cool guy <clears throat> we're actually going to try and work together on getting uh toronto live uh in in the mix it's kind of already been started it's going to be a it's going to be a process to get going um so it's going to take a lot of volunteers and whatnot and enough interest obviously so uh but it's in the works man and uh we're just looking for a charity probably right now. Um, very early stages of planning, we'll just say. But anyhow, this is Namnug taking out his base. Goes ahead and drops just some funneling troops on the on the 3 o'clock. Right? Gets really pretty good value, right? One, two, three, four buildings before these minions end up getting taken out by the air defense and arch tower. But Queen's in there, right? She's going to step up, take care of that cannon, start working her way over to, to this uh, town hall. So goes ahead, drops a hog, gets the dragon loons, lured out of the CC. Poison is going to go down very, very quickly here. That's absolutely imperative because uh, as long as you get the, as long as the loons have to go basically straight across from one side to the other, they're going to be dead before they get to the queen. So dragon and loons basically die all at the same time. Down they go. So now all it's just a matter. I would have dropped the rage probably like right now because you wanted the rage to be early for this queen. You wouldn't have to burn the ability because you don't have poisons left. But a little bit late, but it doesn't matter. But just hits the ability just in time. Keeps going here. And now you can go ahead and send in this golem, drop a baby drag, get that funnel going, drop a wizard up on that army camp there, start sprinkling troops in. Let's get the king in with these four Valkyries. Oh, open the wall first. Wall gets open and four Valks uh, he drops and then his clan castle is full of Valks as well. So they start working in the base. Nice spring trap there though. Gets the, gets the two Valks but it doesn't really matter. Jump spell is going to go down. Heal spell is down. These Valks uh, are not going to get touched. Moving right into the core of this base. Queen as well. I, I want to make note. Uh, and she could, was standing right there. She could have quite easily just followed the cleanup around the base. 
And it worked out really nicely that she broke into the wall there because she ended up being in range of that expo, took out the expo for the uh, these troops in the core, otherwise it would have been targeting them. And then still does the same cleanup work on the outside. So it was really, really uh, beneficial uh, that she broke in there. King finally hits that ability, but he's got, just got too much in there, right? There's two Teslas he's going to start uh, supporting with hogs for sort of all around this base. They get this counterclockwise rotation going. Jump on in while the Golem's tanking. Golem and King are tanking the Teslas. Down go the Teslas. Just needs to work on over to that last compartment of defenses. And this base is GG. Boom. A little bit of cleanup on that south side, but not enough. Nammers with the tree in the bag. Beautiful. Okie doke. 21. Derp a do. Love this guy. So, this is a symmetrical base. It's very interesting. I mean, not exactly. This compartment's a little bigger than this compartment, but pretty much it's a symmetrical base. So, you draw a line straight kind of on an angle right up through those compartments you can almost fold that over whatever maybe i don't know <laughs> the definition of symmetry i'm retarded clearly is that i do know the definition of symmetry but i don't think if you fold that in half it's going to match so it's not symmetrical but it's predictable we'll just say right the, it's trying to be anti -H 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 -B. I'm seeing these expo these individual expo chambers I'm not convinced by them fully right like derf's just bringing a standard uh shattered lalo here right uh rage spell goes down um gets gets everything worked in here has already taken care of an air defense is getting a lot of teslas out of the process queen is gonna have to hit that ability soon there it goes but beautiful right gets a sweeper as well down goes that tesla so let's go ahead we're gonna send in a few lava hounds now max one in the cc comes out <clears throat> and just start sprinkling with balloons around. I mean, he only brought like 13, 14 balloons there. <clears throat> just a very, very standard Shatter Lalo on this base. I think it was a very good choice just because of the the way everything's set up. It's it, all Everything's going to path, right? Just like a symmetrical base would because um, it, it's very similar on either side of the base. You can just judge the pathing all the way around. Hay Spell is going to just force everything in. And if you look, because the Kill Squad took that section, they're, they're just going to follow along the path here just reinforcing a few balloons at a time gets the haste or uh, haste spells down just perfectly right gets the ones on the edge there and those ones move in everything's going to take care of that grounded expo down it goes cannon that's it this base is done for from an interesting base design i'm not convinced absolutely not derp do smashes the tree star beautiful Air was a great choice on that base, my friend. Um, and then what would a 2.0 recap be without my man Kadic doing an HGHB on this base? And I was trying to figure out what the guy was thinking when he built this base. Like, it's so boxy, right? Like, I don't know. Like, things are set up okay, I guess. I mean, I just feel with HGHB, it's, it's just asking for it. Or maybe he's... I don't know. I mean, I guess at Town Hall 9, it's very, very difficult. You want to try different things, new things, and see what uh, what newer designs are more susceptible to, but whatever. It is what it is. Cad's just going to smash right in here, in here with this base. Drop that first raid spell down. Keep those giants moving in through these boxes. Oh, excuse me. One at a time. Oh, comes that clan castle. Nice poison. Very quick. Double poison, actually, I should say. Queen's going to start working on those CC troops. Everything's going down. Bowlers are getting just smashing through those goblins a few at a time. Another sort of interesting raid spell. I think he really did it to raise the healers. Keep everything going there. Uh, Queen's getting value, though, out of it. So absolutely perfect. Down goes that defensive king. He's got these cleanup wizards, too. That's very important, guys. I like the just perfect timing on the hogs. If he had waited one more sec... He definitely would have lost at least one wizard, if not both wizards. But hogs in on that compartment. Take care of the defenses. Allow these cleanup wizards just to keep working around this base. Down go the, uh, the defenses. So in comes this little Tesla farm. And I thought this was an interesting reaction. Just immediately gets the hogs in and drops a heal. I just absolutely loved it. Like he probably could have just waited a little bit, right? Because I would have might want to have got the giants with the heal as well. But... It doesn't matter, right? Because he already killed the Tesla farm. So there's no reason to heal the giant. So just really good reaction time, I think, for Cat on this attack. Absolutely beautiful. He, polars are just going to do huge work with the healers on them down there. And the queen doing work as well. Ability untouched. Has a cleanup wizard. He doesn't even have to drop. 
Boom, boom, boom. Good old HGHB. To me, this like base is like just perfect for it. I just, I don't know. It's interesting because it is again going back to symmetrical. Other than that jutted out wall, if you just draw a line down the middle, it's symmetrical. It's symmetrical base, so you can just judge the pathing so well. And as long as you, uh, as long as your funneling is on point, then you're good to go. Uh, as well, what would a 2.0 recap be without this man, McGravy? I love this guy hitting this 9.5. <clears throat> so uh, hardly a 9.5 really just a brand spanking new town hall 10 i want to say yeah i don't see any one two doesn't have the extra expo yeah so just brand new town hall 10 anyhow gravy is just so patient you kind of saw this opening here he just slowly drops one golem gets the queen going gets the buildings down that he needs make sure everything's good nice little test wall breaker very quick on the next two right sometimes i i make this mistake because i'm bad at this game compared to a lot of guys like gravy um a lot of times I'll make the mistake, I'll send a test wall breaker and it's good, and then I'll look at something for like one sec and I'll drop my wall breakers in the same spot, but the building that they were, your test one was going to is dead. So then they go to a different spot. I'm sure many people, hopefully many people, not just me, have been <laughs> been victim to that, but it sucks. So you got to be on point, guys. When you're wall breaking, make sure you know what building the wall breakers are going to. Cause they go to a wall for a reason, because there's a building behind it. Make sure you know what building that is so that you can make sure that when you're dropping them, they go to the right spot. Just as a, as a pro tip of the day, or maybe I should say amateur tip of the day because definitely, compared to guys like Gravy here, man, he just absolutely smashes bases. So getting through, right, like, look at all the hogs. He, he, he really doesn't, like, it, the hogs are almost just clean up. He has the heal spell for this section, but the queen would have taken most of this stuff out. Gets that Tesla down with a few at the end, and they're already doing cleanup. They're all, almost all the hogs were doing cleanup there. Just absolutely beautiful. One thing, too, is uh, while I was rambling on about the wall breakers, uh, his heroes broke through this wall. There's a little wall piece right there. His heroes went up, and they didn't go to the queen, but the bowler and golem went over there and ended up smashing that defensive queen down. So just really nice outcome of this raid. Grady just, look at this. One, two, three, four. Like, I've, I don't know if you lost any hogs this raid. Maybe one to a freaking spring trap or something like that, but beautiful. Tree stars in the bag, my friend. Good job. I got one more. So we'd have one 10 V10. Newer 10, but, you know, level one Infernos. Upgraded air defense. Maybe Teslas. I'm not 100% sure. But anyhow, this is Iceman moving in. Obviously, 40-40 heroes. This mass minor attack I'm seeing become very, very predominant. Um, between miners and bowlers, it's uh, it's getting pretty nutty what, what kind of things can be done with these sort of mass attacks. But let's go ahead and drop some minis. Get some funneling done. Beautiful. We're going to send in a golem. couple wizards at the 9 o'clock. Just get the other side of the funnel taken care of. <clears throat> Drop some heroes and a jump spell. We're going to let that golem go in first. Start tank, uh, tanking a little bit of that inferno tower. King's going to get in there in one second. Just got to work through that high hit point stuff. Clan castle's out. Poison goes down. Sexy, sexy, right? Really just all goblins at a baby drag. So no big deal, right? All the goblins are taken care of from the poison. Queen's going to get in there to take care of that baby drag. It's really it takes... Look how long it took for this inferno to go down. But it does go down, right? Defensive queen goes down. Queen steps in. Down goes the inferno. See you later. And we've already sent in... What was it? 36 miners in basically from the 12 to 2 section. They're coming in there. I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me what they're... I mean, I think it's just preference at this point. Um, whether you bring a rage or a heal, I think I'd opt more towards rage because I'm not sure the value the miners get obviously when they're underground for a heal. But I think a lot of times they need just think about it, do they need the extra damage to get through a section quickly? I think then you'd find you'd want to be bringing rages. But if they're just going to work through sort of compartment by compartment, not really be tanking a ton of stuff at once. Then you might want to offer, offer the heal. I don't know. Just I think it comes down to personal preference. Anyhow, finally his queen goes down. And unfortunately, if it had been one more second later, the miner would have taken care of the mortar that was killing her. But it doesn't matter. We got a ton of miners. Like, where are they? Oh, there's some there. Oh, there's some. Oh, 
another heel spell goes down. There's a few there. Wait, there's more than a few. There's a whole crap load there. <laughs> They're all over the base, just moving around. Definitely done for. This Archer Tower doesn't even know what to do. It's just like looking around the whole time. <laughs> Three stars in the bag. <laughs> nice job, Iceman. All right, so that'll do it. Six star loss. That one hurts. That's for sure. We know we can put up a better fight against uh, WHF. Nothing, uh, obviously nothing against WHF. These guys are ob. Uh, ugh, ugh. Apparently I'm getting stuck on my words today. These guys are absolutely awesome is what I meant to say. <laughs> Woo, I need another afternoon beer here, I think. <laughs> so, you know, uh, actually I got the pleasure of meeting Power Bang as well at Chicago Live. And, you know, these guys are stand-up guys. I actually got to sit beside him on the war panel and we chatted a little bit. And, you know, he's... Uh, He's a really cool individual. I will just say that, you know, it was really, really pleasure to actually meet some of these guys that you uh, sort of talk to virtually for a long time and get to know a little bit and actually get to meet them in person. So, you know, I, uh, I'm looking forward to maybe getting uh, Toronto Live going with this guy right here, King of the North, another uh, another stand-up gentleman. Anyways, WHF, always a pleasure. Uh, I'm going to call it an afternoon. <laughs> Such a curb stomp, you know, really good job over there. We will give you uh, more adversity next time, I promise you that. That'll do it here for Wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.